Guys, I showed you a couple images at the end of the video last night. And uh, I want to go back and go, I just kind of threw them out there and ask you what you think about them. And I'm going to tell you what I think about them. There's been speculation for a long time about a, another planet or a hidden planet. And even back in National Geographic, the, uh, it was in May of 2012, they published an article that says, As a yet undiscovered planet may be orbiting at the dark fringes of the solar system, according to new research, too far out to be easily spotted by telescopes, the potential unseen planet appears to be making its presence felt by disturbing the orbits of so-called Kuiper Belt objects. This is by a Rodney Gomes, an astronomer at the National Observatory of Brazil in Rio de Janeiro. It says copper belt objects are small icy bodies. We know that's wrong, including some dwarf planets. Okay, that that orbit uh, that lie beyond the orbit of Neptune. Now they they're, they say in their once considered the uh, ninth planet in our system, the dwarf planet Pluto, for example, is one of the larger Kuiper belt objects. It's a, about fourteen thousand miles wide. Now. What's intriguing, Gomez goes on to say, is that according to this new calculation, about a half dozen Kuiper Belt objects, including the remote body known as Sedna, are in strange orbits compared to where they should be based on existing solar system models. Back, guys, back in 1860s, they noticed that the orbit of Pluto, even with the primitive um, telescopes they had then, something disturbed its orbit. It was not where it had been for hundreds of years as it supposedly was on the ancient charts. Anyway, now I showed you two images. Now, when it, before I show you the other one, I want to talk about something. A meteorite will not have an atmospheric magneto pause like that. The reason you see a meteorite is because when it hits our atmosphere, it burns up. Until then, it's almost undetectable. Now, this is a visible, almost a bow shock here in movement. Could be from two things. The movement of this object against the density, the plasma density of the sun, just like the earth has this same magneto pause around it. But this may be a visible motion shock, bow shock. <clears throat> in other words... In normal conditions in our atmosphere, this is in front of an airplane. You don't see it. This is this is moving so fast that in the 15 seconds of each frame, before and after it's gone. Now, you could say, well, someone may have taken this last go image and photoshopped it. They did not. I went back to the dates, and, and I'm going to pull this up and let you look at it. And I went year to year on this. Now, this is 08... August, excuse me, August 13th of 08. You see that? Now, again, we know it's not Photoshopped because I went back, and I'll show you how you can go back and search any date you want to since these uh, this Soho Lasco satellite has been up, guys. And these are facing, these images are what we call Earth facing. In other words, the satellite's looking at the sun from the general direction of the Earth. Now, one of the things that I don't agree with uh, with the Discovery Channel article is that these bodies are icy. This one is not even compared to a comet, but that their orbit is outside the Oort cloud. There's been also just speculation from old, not just new, but uh, from, for a long time that there's a hidden planet within our solar system. Now, and they relate that to why we have the big quakes like Japan and the tilting and when they, of the earth and when they had to repaint the airports. And now people are talking about, you see it all over, the moon's not quite right, things like that, guys. I'm telling you, this is the hidden planet. Now, I've got another image, and the first thing that they're going to throw at you is that well, if it was in orbit in the inner solar system, it would be continuing the same orbit. It wouldn't come by the camera one way. We've got the sun in the center. 
and then on the next one come from the other way that wouldn't be a typical orbit they're correct let me show you something I'm gonna pull both pictures together now these are the two images side by side notice this one and the object that was in front of it are moving from the right to the left the sun's in the center the one I showed you first is moving this way notice they're a year apart 2008 August 2009 August eight days apart within that that happens that's why you on some years in August you'll see mercury in Lasco this year you, I mean on these two years you didn't if you look now it's there and on other years it's there that's just because of the different speed of the rotation guys but let me show you something they they, they have the same orbit except that in 08 it was further away and it has a trailing object this is the trailing object I think this is the first object and what what they've done you notice the timestamp bottom left right now what have you else have you noticed this center of the Sun is blocked out by what's called an occulter and it's held off the edge of the satellite with this arm right there now the Sun is the center white dot that that's the white that's the size right notice there are different angles now let's do what's supposed to be done here so that we have the same view pull this back now that, that satellite rotates as it orbits here's our arm on the left holding the occulter look same direction this year in 09 it was closer now guys I went into 010 I want to show you that now remember on the 8th the object was further away here on in, excuse me in 2008 and 2009 it's closer same date guys I went in and did the I went in and went through the movies that's why I know no these are not photoshopped on 2010 on the 8th on the 16th you see this something in just this frame it was not a solar uh, flare coming by an explosion or anything I checked the frames before and after they're in 15 minute increments something came so close to the satellite the next year as it was getting closer as that orbit changed that it completely blinded this camera that's what you're seeing over, totally over pixelated blinded for that one frame and it's there and again I, I'm going to show you how you can go and look at the movie so you know for yourself but this is the hidden planet it's not a long it's not visible to the human eye it's too far out in space it is affecting the tilt of the earth it is affecting the moon it affects every planet in our solar system each year it has gotten closer I went to 2011 I went to 2012 in the same month you can find very similar images with a temporary blackout between and it varies between the 16th and the 17th I don't know if this is an intentional blackout to hide that 15 minutes because in 15 minutes these objects are past this camera Let me take this back off but guys you are looking and it has been found again they are the same direction I'm going to pull this up and let's take a close look at this one but this is the picture they wanted and they waited for it is not an asteroid they do not have this magneto pause and this burn off if anything it's a comet trailing the main object or a moon but this is what's rotating inside our solar system each August and I tell you what I'm gonna do in part two of this I'm gonna tie it into one of the greatest prophecies of all time heads up